Hey folks, Simon here from Simon's Reviews. Right here I have my PS5, and today I'm going to be upgrading it by installing the FA200 from Acer. This is their latest release NVMe SSD drive. It is available in multiple sizes. I have the two terabyte size, which they kindly gifted to me so that I could make this video for you. This Acer FA200 is a Gen 4x4 model with read speeds up to 7,200 megabytes per second. Just to be aware that the previous model from Acer would not work in the PS5 because it just wouldn't be fast enough, so that's why I'm using the FA200. And the Acer drive here does come with a thermal pad, which is, which is nice, but it doesn't come with the actual heatsink. Even if you are installing this into a computer, a PC, and not into a console, you are still going to want to make sure that you are doing so with a heatsink. And just to show you the SSD up close, okay, it's a very basic design. For the more technical minded of you, I will point out that this NVMe does not have a DRAM chip, which probably does not surprise you. That means it is going to be more cost effective. However, it doesn't have the advantages that a DRAM chip would bring, such as the improved endurance. But for everyday tasks, whether computing or gaming on your PS5, it's certainly going to be up for the challenge. So let's get it installed. And there we have the drive in the enclosure, the heatsink enclosure. Again, this is really important. And this is one that will fit into the PS5 as well. So just to show you the orientation, I've got the disk drive here on the PS5. I'm going to remove the cover and if you want to know why I can remove this relatively easily I have done a dedicated YouTube video on how to remove the covers on the PS5. There we go and as you can see we have the NVMe drives base slot just here. Now before I remove the screw a little warning I want to give you guys be very careful not to lose the screw here or the screw for the NVMe drive which is very small down into the vent with the fan because it's going to be an absolute pain to try and recover that so be very very aware that they are quite close okay let's go ahead and remove this panel and there we have the uncovered drive bay so hopefully you guys can see that the PS5 does include the screw right there for the NVMe drive installation so let's go ahead and remove that so there's the screw and it also comes with that little bracket we'll need to make sure that we install that as well so again both of these are part of the PS5 console next we just need to see which of the screw sockets we are going to need to use so let's just briefly rest the NVMe drive over the enclosure and we can see which one it's going to be and it's this one right here the one labeled 80 so we're going to take that little bracket once more and just pop that down into the slot the screw slot for the one that's labeled 80 and then we can go ahead and install the NVMe drive and this just slots in at a slight angle so we'll just line that up and in it goes so that is clicked in now if I try and pull on that it isn't coming out I'd have to unclick it and now all we need to do is put the screw back in that we took out a moment ago okay that's pretty much all there is to it so the NVMe drive is now nicely secured in its enclosure meaning we can just install the bay cover back on now and of course the cover as well try and snap this back on there we go just check that is on properly yes I believe it is perfect so over at the PS5 console, I've just turned it on here for the first time and have been greeted with this message about installing or formatting rather the M.2 SSD storage. So let's go ahead and select that option. That's just going to take a minute or two, so we'll leave it to it. And there we have it. So the read speed is coming in a little bit lower than what's been rated by the drive. But let's tap OK there. And yeah, we're good to go. So settings, storage and installation location. So right now, both the PS5 and PS4 game installations are set to console storage, but I can change either of these to M.2 storage, and then from this point on, any of those types of games, so PS4 or PS5 that I install, will install directly to that additional SSD I have just set up. And it's fast as well. This Acer drive is just what you need in order to be getting 
good PS5 support and limiting those nasty load times. So folks, thank you so much for checking out the video. Hopefully it's been helpful to you and I'll catch you in the next one.